welcome back to my channel. Today I am so excited because I'm experimenting with a new hair tool and I'm gonna be showing y'all the Beach Waver. And this is the Beach Waver S1 and this is from the Beach Waver Co. or company. And this product is the 2015 In Style Best Beauty Buys. And it's a ceramic rotating curling iron. And the way that I heard about this product is it was actually the official hot tool for the Victoria's Secret fashion show. So while the Victoria's Secret fashion show was on I was seeing so many Victoria's Secret angels snapchatting about this product it was on Instagram it was on the Victoria's Secret Instagram it was on like everywhere you could see it in between clips during the Victoria's Secret fashion show of them like filming behind scenes a lot of beauty bloggers were there I saw Cara Loren talk about it like seriously everyone was talking about this so I was like oh my goodness I've never even heard of this product before why is everyone freaking out about it my entire dream in life is to have Victoria's Secret hair so of course I had to get my hands on it and this is the s1 which is like a one inch curling iron but they do have other sizes as well and this one is the limited edition white color um, I think it traditionally comes in black but you could get it in white or black you can get it on Ulta's website or you could get it on the beach waivers website I'll link everything down below if you guys are looking for it um, but this particular one retails for $129 so I haven't even opened this yet. I'm so excited. I've been saving to open it with you guys. I saved it for y'all. Okay, so I just opened it up and the presentation is absolutely beautiful. Oh God. Ugh. So let's be careful with it. Um, the presentation's really pretty. It comes in this like silky packaging here. Um, and I really like the white one. The black one's cool too, but I think the white one's really pretty because it's pink and white which, and silver. Like it's beautiful. And what's really cute too is the back. It says Beach Waver. So cute. Okay, so I just plugged it into the wall, took all the plastic off, so this is what we got. And it's got our little button down here, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. And it beeps! So it's on at 350 degrees, um, and then you can adjust the temperature by like pushing these buttons. Um, I don't know how hot to do it. Should we do 350? We'll just let it heat up and we'll We'll see what happens. So my hair right now is like two, maybe, no, it's like three day old hair. Um, I strained it yesterday and then last night I just slept on it. So this is what we have to work with. I've put dry shampoo in my hair and I have brushed through it. So it is dirty and it's prepped and it's ready to go. Okay, so now we're heated to 350 degrees. Um, I'm scared. <laughs> Let's try this out. So I'm gonna grab a back section of my hair, just like a little, this piece right here. So what you do is you clamp it at the end. Can you guys see that? My hair is too long. So I got it there and then I push the button. <laughs> it's working. Oh wait, like that? Okay, and then we'll let it sit there for a second. How do I get it off? Oh crap, I should have read the instructions first. It's okay. I don't like reading the instructions or like watching videos beforehand of like tutorials or demos and stuff because I feel like that's not realistic. I mean, who goes into life prepared? Okay, do I just like undo it? Probably not, there's probably an easier way. Oh goodness, okay. Oh! So I'm pretty sure I did it wrong, but look how pretty. That's a good little bouncy curl. Okay, so maybe I should have read the instructions beforehand, but I was just too excited. I was too excited to try it out because I have wanted nothing more in my life than to be a Victoria's Secret angel. So let's do this again. So I'm holding it vertical because, again, I like the Victoria's Secret like beachy waves. So I'm gonna hold it like that. And what I am noticing is it's super warm. I have it at 350, but um, I'm gonna leave it there and just hold it for a little bit. And then I'm gonna release it by opening the clamp. And look at that. How pretty. Okay, so I'm grabbing another section to try it again. Take your little clamp, you put it on there. 
you push the button in the direction you want it to go. I've already got the hang of this. It's super easy. <laughs> That's good because I usually wrap my curls like around my curling wand. I use a Numi curling wand, which I love, but um, it's definitely not this easy. It, I actually like it takes two hands and you like lose grip of the hair when you're doing it. This is like so effortless. So it does say on the curling wand that you can adjust the speed of the curl. I don't know how fast of a speed I'm on. Oh, I'm on fast. So I've been using it fast. Let me show you guys what, how fast it is slow. So now it's on slow. So you get a little more control if you do it slow. I kind of like it fast because it makes me feel like a ninja, but you can do it slow if you want to. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so that's that. It is kind of noisy. So it does make a little bit of a noise and it does sort of have like a slight humming noise to it. It's not loud. It's not annoying by any means. Um, but this is a first impressions. So I wanted to tell you all what it sounds like. So I'm going to go ahead and finish off my hair and then we will see what it looks like. So basically what's so unique about this curling iron is it actually rotates. So it spins on its own so you don't have to like twist your wrist to get the curls to spin. And on the back it has all the details, lots of explanation, all the stats about this fancy guy. Um, but I do have the website pulled up on my phone and I'm just going to tell you all a bunch of the little uh, pointers that I think are awesome. So it has the high-low adjustable speed switch. It has a customized full-length internal heater, which means it's like completely heated on the inside. Um, that That's really cool because it actually helps your hair to like get evenly coated in heat basically so that there's not like sections of the curl that aren't as curled as the other pieces, if that makes sense. Um, there's a heat range from 290 degrees to 410 degrees Fahrenheit. It heats up in 30 seconds. It has a swivel cord, which is eight feet long. I love swivel cords. I cannot stand the hair, any hair tool that doesn't have a swivel cord, which just means it like spins on its own instead of getting all like wonky and twisted when you're using it. Um, has a one year manufacturer warranty, 30 minute automatic shut off. Um, and yeah, this one's a one inch and it's ceramic, but you could get other sizes if you wanted to. Okay, so I just finished curling it. Um, I haven't shaken out the curls yet, so they're still super tight. Um, but I want to make sure that everything is even and that every piece is curled. Um, it's kind of hard to tell until I shake it out actually. So I'm just going to let these curls sit for a moment. Um, when I curl my hair, I like to let them like sit in their like tight curl before I shake it out because that allows the heat to cool down in the hair, allows the hair to kind of mold the shape of the curl that you've initially created. And then after it's set for a minute, I'll go ahead and shake it out and we'll see what we do next. Okay, so I've given my hair time to set. So I'm going to go ahead and shake it out. Um, I like softer curls. So I always like to kind of shake out my hair once it's curled to give it more like a bouncier, fluffier, just more natural look, not too structured. All right, now that it's shaken out, it's definitely more like fluffy and natural looking. Um, there are a couple pieces that I don't love the way that they turned out, like this section here I don't love. Um, there was one piece in here that was curled kind of weird. So I'm going to try to fix those. Um, I am worried about fixing the curls because when I use my clampless curling iron just like this, which I guess I could do actually, I could use this just as a clampless curling iron. I didn't even think of that. I normally just go through my hair and fix the pieces that are messed up. And that's typically how I curl my hair without the beach waver. But you know what? I could totally do that with this too. So that's cool. Because if you do have pieces that maybe you're having a hard time grabbing or if you're not feeling like you're going to be able to use the beach waver in a specific section, you could just use it as a regular curling iron. So that's kind of nice. That curl is going to be a little different. Like those curls that I just created here are a little bit different uh, like texture or style or shape than the other pieces. But it does give it a little bit more diversity. But I'm just going to go through and 
update a few pieces that I think need a little bit of touching up. All right, you guys, well, this is the final results. Um, this is what my hair looks like after finishing up the curls. It's definitely more beachy than what I typically do with my hair because it does have more of like a messier, fluffier approach to it. I feel like my typical curls are a little bit more, a little more structured or a little more clean looking than these ones. So it is different and I do like it. You definitely wouldn't have to do all your curls facing like outward like I did. Like you could rotate switching between like some curling in, some curling out and that would give you a different effect. But I tried to do all my curls on this side of the face facing that way and all my curls on this side of the face facing that way so that everything framed my face. Um, the things that I will say about the curling iron, um, I do feel like it does have a little bit of a learning curve. Like it is easy to like maneuver and use, especially when I was using on this side of the face. But when I switched to this side, I actually did struggle getting like used to like using it that way. Especially if you start off with one side and you're used to like facing the hair one direction and then curling it another direction and then you switch sides and you have to like mirror that I got kind of confused and there were a couple points when I would accidentally curl a piece of hair different from this side or like different than what I wanted so there is a little bit of a learning curve um and I think it's just like getting used to it because I'm very used to curling my hair with a wand and just wrapping it like normal um so there is a little bit of like getting used to with it uh but one thing I do notice is that curling iron itself is actually really really good um i'm very familiar with the way that i curl my hair typically with a wand because that's how i curl my hair like almost every single day and when i did that with this wand just wrapping it around it curled very well just like my other one or even better than my other curling iron that i typically use so i definitely did notice it did notice that about it um one other thing too is you can push home and it like returns your wand to a different spot so like let's say you have it back in the back if you push home like this little clamp in the back if you push home it brings it back that's so cool i wish i would have realized that while i was doing my hair um because i was kind of annoyed by that i was like oh how do i get it to like to clamp it when it's in a weird spot. But if you click home, it brings it back to the center. So that's super cool. I think the curling iron's really good. Um, I think the style of it's really pretty. I do like the swivel cord and I do like the curling iron as a whole. I think it's more, it's inventive, it's different. Um, I don't know if it's gonna be my new like everyday curling iron. I'll have to like use it a couple more times to decide for sure. But I do like the curls that I came out with and I do feel like I curl my hair pretty quickly. Typically it takes me a while to do my hair like it'll take me like 30 minutes and I did the whole thing in like 20 minutes and this is my first time using it and I didn't watch any tutorials and I didn't um read any of the instructions <laughs> so considering that I feel like it worked really quickly and I hope I have Victoria's Secret hair now I mean that was the goal of this so let me know in the comments down below if you guys think that my hair looks like Victoria's Secret angel hair and if you don't think it looks like it then don't tell me because just let me, just let me live. Thank you so much for watching. I have so much fun doing these like experimenting videos on camera. I think it's really fun to try out new products and share my thoughts and opinions with y'all. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have ever tried the Beach Waver or if you've used any other heat tools that you guys think I should try out on camera because I love trying out heat tools on camera. I did a straightening hairbrush one recently that I thought was super fun too. So give me a thumbs up if you guys do enjoy these kind of like try it out with me videos because I think they're so much fun. So definitely subscribe to my channel if y'all haven't subscribed already. I really appreciate all of your support and I can't wait to see y'all in my next video. Mwah!